Hi guys, welcome back to the channel at Bobby's Girl Pro. I moved indoors. I'm going to get you another message here for the collective. Uh, be here for all Paul Zodiac signs from the good, the bad, and the ugly here. So take what resonates for you and your situation. Leave the rest. They're not going to be everyone's story, okay? So only take what resonates and throw the rest at the door. Let's get started and get you a message. Like I said, remember, your ops are out there. They want to get you. They want to put you down. Don't let them, okay? Keep doing you. And, you know, if somebody is going against you, whatever. Just let them. Let's get started. What's going on for the collective? We want good energy today. That last read was no good. Stupid is as stupid does. All right. Uh, they see and they hear your voice everywhere they go. And they want to have a family with you. So, okay. So, someone is uh, thinking about you. Pow wow, okay. <laughs> All right, and they want to have a family with you if they don't already, they will protect you. They're saying they want to protect this love. It was so beautiful outside. I want to go back out there. Oh, waiting for someone, so someone's waiting for someone like you or has been. Okay, now you could have been a rebound, or you could have rebound with this person, or this person had a rebound. Okay, so just take those as they resonate. They're desiring you. Okay, they could have given you mixed signals or you give this person mixed signals, you know, not really sure, you know, where the relationship was going or where this situation ship was going here. It, it could be a new person coming in, you know, or you've had some type of contact if you weren't in a relationship with this person, okay? Maybe you were on a rebound. Who knows? Somebody wants to break in. Okay, and the break in could be anything. Newborn. Somebody wants to get you pregnant. Somebody may also have a rebound um, and they had a newborn with someone else. Somebody wants to break in. What are they breaking into? This earth sign, this water sign are in cahoots together. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's, what is this shenanigan? Master manipulator over here. Oh, Lord. A scam alert. We got a scammer. Curiosity killed the cat, so this rebound connection here could have been a scammer. They got pregnant. Now this person has a child due to uh, some desires here, sexual desires. I don't know. If not, this person may want to, you know, have a child with you here because they are desiring you. It's like flipping the script over here. Someone got curious. They went out of the connection. If you were in a connection with this person, this is your person here. But they were manipulated or the, you're dealing with a master manipulator. All right. Trafficking. So somebody's stuck in trafficking. Somebody may actually be stuck in traffic. All right. That could be why they got scammed by a master manipulator that was trafficking individuals. Now they're dealing with court of the justice system where they're about ready to be. Somebody's listening to you. Okay. They're dreaming of you too. but um. They're listening. They're listening in. What you got to say? They're feeling lovesick. Some baby steps over here. So somebody wants to take baby steps because they're saying they're dreaming of you. They're hearing your voice. They're seeing you. They do want a family with you, but they may already have a child, possibly with somebody that's a master manipulator that be into trafficking individuals. They're desiring you. They want to protect you. So they're listening very closely. Now, this newborn that they have could also be up to a year old where they're actually you know, um, taking their first steps. They say, can you see things from my point of view? So they want you to like put your shoe on their foot, right? Put the shoe on the other foot. Player fell in love. Okay. So you're dealing with a player. Someone's tired of holding it in. They want to make more memories with you. And there was false accusations. Okay. That could have been the manipulation part here. Someone accusing someone of something, whether you accused your person or your person accused you. They don't want to see you happy together. So uh, this could have been an earth sign or a water sign, or you could be an earth sir, a sign or a water sign, or your person's dealing with an earth sign or a water sign. But they don't want to see you happy together. And there are false accusations that have been made. And there could have been uh, issues with finances. If not, this person is having issues with finances right now. All right, we got erectile dysfunction, so somebody could, you know, have trouble getting it up if they're male. 
They may be taking Viagra or need some help here, or they may just not be attracted to the person that they're with. If they're manipulating them in some way, shape, or form, they just can't get it up. Maybe they can only get it up for you. I don't know, because they're lovesick. So somebody's having a breakdown and they're praying for mercy. Okay. Let's see. They're at a friend's house. So somebody could be staying at a friend's house. Maybe you're staying at a friend's house. This person could be or someone that they're dealing with is staying at a friend's house. Behind the scenes. So what's happening behind the scenes over here? They can't get enough of your love over here. Or they just can't get enough of you. That's why they're listening. Friday could be significant. Something could have happened this past Friday. Something may be happening this coming Friday. They just want to hold you. Okay, they're unable to meet your needs. Maybe due to finances. Maybe due to erectile dysfunction. I don't know, guys. They're faking a death to escape. So somebody faked the death over here to escape. Whether this is an ego, uh, you know, somebody in their ego and, and pride here. It also could have been an ego death. It could be an actual death in order to get out of having to face their karma. So there's a group chat over here. So... Somebody is uh, in this group chat, possibly manipulating other individuals, uh, making false accusations, whether this is on you, this is on your person, on both of you, okay? I take it as it resonates, guys. Virgo energy. So you may be a Virgo. This person may be a Virgo. Open up, time to open up the raw truth, or they could be dealing with another person that's a Virgo. It says you wake, make this person weak at the knees. There could be marriage here that's involved. You could be married to this person or this person could be married to somebody else. Okay, and they want to lay you down on a bed of roses, but they hired a hitman. Okay. You know what I say to that? Okay. And if they want to kidnap you? Okay. Can you at least turn the radio on to my favorite station? Because you're the lucky charm collective. And this person finally realizes that it could be a male between the ages of 18 to 30. It's involved with this is a you're the male or uh, this is your person here or this is someone your person is dealing with here. Uh, that's a control freak. Needs to have control of everything. It says you're the only one this person wants. They don't want to be with anybody else. OK, but either they're being manipulated or they're a master manipulator. Wishing now they would have give, uh, given you everything. So somebody's wishing now that they would have given you everything instead of whoever else they gave to. Thinking of the next shady thing that they can do to you. So somebody's thinking of the next shady thing that they could do to you. Or you could do to them. I don't know. Facebook. We've got Facebook talking or fake accounts made over on Facebook. And that's where they could be talking shit about you. Okay. Time to grow up. Or you're talking shit about this person or somebody's talking shit about both of you. I don't know. So it's time to grow up over here. They'll do anything, whatever it takes to get you back. We got a hot model, male or female, that could be involved. This could be you. This could be your person. Or this could be someone your person's deal dealing with. Somebody's got a special gift over here. Who knows what that is, guys? Cut off, no access. So you cut this person off or this person has been cut off. Could be due to finances, too. It could be due to this Facebook uh, group chats. I don't know miscommunication over here so mixed signals and miscommunication was giving here whether this is on your part your person's part or um someone your person's dealing with sleeping with the enemy so somebody was sleeping with the enemy or is sleeping with the enemy maybe they need to cut them off no access okay it could be stealing their finances you know they're going against uh the collective here they regret ever letting you go what was they thinking they want to know what they were thinking they weren't thinking they were thinking with the, you know, their penis or their vagina. Your laugh is contagious. There's some evidence here. So if somebody has evidence. You are the one they want to choose or to choose and chase. I said choose, but you're the one they want to chase. They want to come after because they feel like they own you. They want to have control over you. It could be a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. It could be an earth sign or a water sign. Providing for two households. So somebody faked the death in order to escape, but they could be put providing for two households and there definitely could be trafficking of individuals here involved so you're being psychically attacked okay playing it safe you're playing it safe over here would rather have their whole life ripped apart and, and take uh, taking you down that's sad this person would rather have their whole life ripped apart family and all 
just to take you down. Why? Because you're happy? Because you don't want to be a part of trafficking? Because you don't want to be a master manipulator? Because you don't entertain third parties? Because you're not a mistress or a mister or uh, however that goes, male or female here? Make it make sense. No explanations. So somebody gave you no explanations here. We got deep, dark secrets. And somebody trying to impersonate you. Could be this person that's psychically attacking you. Whether this is your person or a person that they're dealing with here. Hot model. Somebody's got unfinished business. They could be dealing with some PTSD over here. Like I said, who hasn't had PTSD? We've all been through some kind of trial or tribulation or challenge in our life. Okay? That's been drastic of some sort. Even war can cause PTSD. Oh, that's not an excuse. This person can't even find anyone to sleep with him or her. Sad, not. Okay, so like old flame. This could be your old flame or past relationship. They could drive a Dodge or this is somebody that's just trying to dodge their karma. They're on a power trip. Because they need to have control, guys. Love was just a word until they met you is what they're saying. Okay. We're moving obstacles. Somebody's cyberbullying you. They're tangled up in a web. Got gaslighting, controlling. Um, they're controlling and convincing their victims, making them think that they're crazy. That's another one of their manipulation tactics is uh, gaslighting individuals. They just want lust. Cyberbullying and gaslighting. Okay. Man there's manipulation tactics and a master manipulator. Double manipulation over here. It's a vicious cycle over here. Manipulation. What is this? A fake pregnancy. So somebody could have a fake pregnancy or have had a fake pregnancy here. Maybe a manipulation tactic in order to keep somebody stuck. I don't know. Mad because they can't copy you or your energy. Find your own ideas. So you know what I say? If they do use my ideas, oh well. That means I'm doing something good. And that means they can't find any ideas. So, oh well. Somebody eloped or wants to elope, but they also could be married already to somebody else. So just be aware of this. There's substance abuse involved. This person has child support. Or this is also be past due child support. And that could be where their finances is holding them back because they can't afford to pay for their child support. We've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Someone did the ultimate betrayal. There's no coming back from this. So whatever's been done, cyberbullying, manipulation, trafficking, okay, uh, whatever. Group chats, Facebook, fake accounts, screenshots, I don't know. Hot models. I, this person's got a mess. They're ready to open their heart to you. I don't know if you want to be a part of this. This person wants to come back for a second chance. They need an exorcism, that's for sure. They've got a lot of entities attached to them. And they want to sneak away. Why? Because they're feeling lonely. But this person's like Jekyll and Hyde. It's day and night. They sleep alone. Yeah, they're sleeping alone right now. Because they're feeling lonely. You're always on this person's mind. They think about all the times you spent together. But there's scandalous over here. There's a big scandal going on. Somebody's got a secret life. They get lost in your eyes. They're mesmerizing. They want to put in the effort now. Why? Because they miss you and they wish they should have gave you everything while they had the chance. Someone married a thief. You're saying go find less. If that's what you want is less, go find less. Collective, good for you. There's two sides to the story is what this person is saying, which there always is two sides to the story. Not everybody hears two sides to the story. But this person wants people to believe their side of the story. Okay. And this is a blessing to get out of this mess. There is no secrets. Somebody's spiteful. Now they're being haunted. They could be in a haunted house. Especially if they need an exorcism. Who knows what type of entity, entities are attached to them. They neglected you in this connection. Okay. And we got beauty and brains. You're beautiful and uh, you are very smart over here. You need to cleanse your space, guys. Somebody could drive a Dodge or a Chrysler. Yeah, love don't cost a thing. And the tarot reader revealed that you are this person's true love. 
but they got a whole heap of a mess over here, guys. Unexpected delays. This is the universe, I feel like, holding this person back, too. Where they can't contact you, they can't reach out. You may have them blocked off, cut off, no access. But the universe may also have this person blocked, too. Taking things away from them. Uh, where they're unable to reach out or contact you or get to you in some way, shape, or form. And the mask is off. Yeehaw. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cock to see a fun lady upon a white horse. Lady Godiva over here. Uh, being seen as innocent, good person. So someone unfairly judged you over here. You're shining so bright like a diamond collective. They've, this person's messing with baked goods that could be trafficking baked goods if they're not trafficking individuals they could be stuck up in the court system if they're not in jail already they're about to be going to jail someone pillow talked your business and that curiosity killed the cat that one moved over there yeah does this one this person think that they have nine lives or something or what somebody's dealing with a stripper okay Someone met on OnlyFans, so this stripper could be on OnlyFans. She could drive a Jeep, he or he or she. Not gender specific. It's not gender specific, okay? A stripper could be male or female. It's energy, guys. So somebody's a stripper. Whether this is your person that's on OnlyFans stripping, or it's you, or it's a person that your person's dealing with. Not right now. So somebody doesn't want to deal with anything right now. They're very vindictive. They could be actually be in the hospital and they're using friends to figure you out. Who knows why they're in the hospital? Somebody's collecting their men minions. That's their friends here. Follow the leader. So they go around collecting information on what you're doing, what you're up to, what you got going on. And then they bring that information back to your person or you're bringing it back to this person. I don't know. Hiding from the law because they're avoiding their judgment. So they fought the law and the law won. They fought the law and the law won. Yeah. So hot for teachers. Somebody could be a teacher here. Somebody's hot for the teacher. Okay, loving you from a distance. Tired of dealing with thieves. So somebody's tired of dealing with thieves, even though they may be a thief themselves. Okay, what do we got? breadcrumbs so this person may have breadcrumbed you or they're getting breadcrumbs now because there's extreme poverty poverty extreme poverty due to finances their finances are being wiped out i don't know if they're paying for strippers on only fans watching videos and that i don't know if there's some type of porn addiction here going on they don't care they, that they're going to jail or prison like i said i said this in that last reading it came out this person doesn't care. They're running from karma, hiding from the law, from everything that they've created here. This secret life, this faking the death, this criminal activity. But they don't care that if they do have children, when they go to jail or prison, they're not going to be able to see their children. Their children may even be taken away from them and be raised by the system. Who knows? They may get lucky and they may have a family member that will take in their children, but do they even care about their kids? No, they want to go against the collective energy because they're not thinking with love and they're disgusted with their life. Okay, they can be shady person. They can be shady. Was it worth it? I don't know. Was it worth it? Locked up or going to be there soon. So somebody's either locked up or they're about to be there soon. Possibly could be a water sign. It could be an earth sign or it could be a Virgo. <laughs> or you could be. I don't know. The thought of losing you would feel like living in a world with nowhere to breathe. It's like a fish out of water over here. You know, fish breathe with their gills. Long-term commitment. So somebody's in a long-term commitment. Children is definitely involved. And somebody's bullying you. They're cyberbullying you. On, you know, whatever it is, if it's OnlyFans, if it's Facebook, who knows, group chats, making up fake accounts. Uh, they got a lot going. They got a, a big, huge, long list of criminal activity here. It says they're coming back. Yeah, okay. 
Thursday could be significant. There is a natural disaster. Maybe that happened on this past Thursday. It could be happening this coming Thursday. They want to know if they can come over. Why? Because they see in the light now. They open in their eyes, okay? All right. Insurance fraud. So this person is dealing with insurance fraud. It could be any kind of insurance fraud. It could be real estate fraud in here too. I don't know where that came from, but something with properties here. Maybe it's this person just thinking that you're their property. They also could be, they could do this for a living. Get out insurance claims on, on individuals and then plan to traffic them. And maybe kill them. Who knows? In order to get the money. They pretend they're okay, but they're not. And dealing with an escort, a stripper, an escort over here. Now this could be your person. This could be you. This could be a person that your person's dealing with. Someone could drive an escort. They could drive a Dodge. They could drive a Jeep. Could have many vehicles, but all this stuff's about to be taken away. They want to go on a vacation or a trip with you. Please do not go on a vacation or a trip with this person. If this is your person. They're saying that they want to upgrade you, but they want to upgrade you to traffic you. To possibly, if they already have an insurance policy on you, to possibly kill you in order to get that money. Can't make this stuff up. Prediction. Making the prediction right now or somebody has made a prediction here. Lawyer is involved. Could be dealing with an air sign or there's just communication here. Or somebody needs to get a lawyer. A good one. Pull five cards from the karmic deck. Yeah, repossessed. So things are getting repossessed over there. They want you to stroke their ego because they can't get no satisfaction. They can't even get an erection over here. And they're feeling lonely. They will lie to your face and smile. Karmic cycle. So this could be karma here is involved at play. Uh, August could be significant. You could be dealing with a Leo. Something like a Cancerian or a Leo cusp here. They love you more than you will ever know. And they've got a string of bad luck. I don't even know if I'd mess around with this individual, guys. No, I wouldn't go on no vacation or trip or nothing. They've got a lot. They need to get a good lawyer. Or you need to get a good lawyer. Because they, uh, they want to take you down. In any way that's feasible. Illegally. They're, manip manip they're manipulating. They got double manipulation over here. They got other people trying to manipulate you, to take you out. They're manipulating others, and they got others that are that they have manipulated going against you to try and take you out. They got a hitman here involved. Oh, well. They need a lawyer. Or they're going, they're, either way, they're going to prison. Let's see about this Virgo. That's the only sign that came out other than August. And a water sign and earth sign. So, yeah, wow. What do they get out of that, though? Hiring a hitman and all that. What do, what do they get out of it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because they unjudged you fairly, collective. They're going to go to prison for life for trying to set up somebody to be murdered? For finances? Because they want to make something off of you? And this is what they do. They traffic people. They traffic drugs. Baked goods, whatever. They're mixing and baking over there. I don't know. I don't know if this Virgo is like the ringleader or something. Let's see. I'm going to call this like a, a ringleader. All right. Queen, whether it's a queen or a king. Becomes arrogant when authority is challenged. So this could be a parent. This could be a father, a mother, uh, a grandmother, a grandfather here. So as soon as you challenge this person, they go on that power trip. It's like, respect my authority. And when you don't respect this person's authority, they got to go against you. They be like, all right, I'll take you out. Yeah, and that's what they do. Warrior, trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. Yeah. They, they don't have any ethics. They don't have any morals. 
They'll trade that in for any type of victory in order for them to succeed, to get ahead, to be at a higher level, to make you look like you're this small and they're this big. Inner, uh, indifference to the suffering inflicted on other, others. So they really don't give a shit about anybody's feelings. Really, they don't have any feelings themselves. They don't feel. Because all they can see is, wall, ooh, yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. It's worth nothing. They just want to do, all I do is win. All I do is win. That's it. Okay, let's pull some karma cards and see what's going on with this karmic in Karmicville. All right, what's going on with this karmic here in Karmicville since this is a karmic cycle? Now, if you know that you're not in a karmic cycle, okay, or you weren't dealing with this person in a karmic cycle, then it may not be for you. So only take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? What's going on with this karmic? You were just another notch on their belt, okay? This person's being publicly humiliated, or there's public humiliation that's about to be. Yeah, there's shocking news or an event here about ready to happen. We saw a natural disaster. So somebody's about to have a natural disaster. Rose before hose. So there's that stripper escort energy. Um, karmics don't know their true selves. They're too busy trying to be somebody else. So it is what it is. That's why all of that, that win at all costs, you know. They don't know who they are, so they try to be other people. Whoever this is the chameleon energy. In order to fit in, because that's all they want to do is they want to fit in with the crowd and with the group. Somebody's in the hospital or there was an ER visit. If not, there's about to be. They live, eat, and breathe you. They can't sleep. They're stressed out and they need your energy. You got circuits clowns over here. They're running scared. They're running from the law. We'll see how far they get. They so just missed out on a good thing. Yeah, this person missed out on a good thing. The karmic is in love with you and they want you to themselves. Whoever this karmic is, if it is a person, they want you. They want to have sex with you. Nasty. Okay, don't re no real love because there never was love. And we got a distorted feminine over here. Whether it is a feminine or masculine. It could be a masculine that uh, works off their feminine side, okay? Big crybaby, okay? And it's different between empathy and expressing your feelings and actually being a crybaby and wanting a pity party. So Secret Lovers is exposed over here, is hit it and quit it's over here, are being exposed. I should have listened to you. They self-sabotage their own happiness. They self-pleasure to your photos if they can even get it up. They, yeah, they're abusing their power for sexual benefit or gain, paying for sex with these escorts and these strippers. Uh, generational curse. This person's cursed. They have financial curses. Who knows what other kind of curses they have to them. They need an exorcism because there's so many demonic entities that are attached to them that is taken over where they have no morals, no ethics, no values. Karmic has been caught in the act. And they're running out of options. They don't know where to go. And I ran. I ran so far away. You know why? Because they can't face the truth. And they say, dang, I thought they had you in the bag. They thought they had you in the bag. They got the right one, didn't they? And bring it on. But yeah, the karmic wants to sleep with you. Gross. No. 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 I mean, maybe some of you would sleep with the karmic. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's get you some uh, messages out of here. This is crazy, guys. Some people, you know, people are, are who they are, but I go back to that. God is great. Beer is good. And people are crazy. I don't really like beer, though. But, ugh. Ugh. You gotta have, it's one of those things that you gotta have a taste for, and then you just drink a little bit of it, and you're like, oh, that's enough, because it tastes like warm piss, ugh. I'm not saying that I've tasted piss, but it resembles it. 
All right, we have Libra, we have the letter W or the letter M. I'm taking it as W here. I'm pretty sure it's a W. All right, some, something with the color white. This is purification here, cleansing your energy here. Somebody's last name could be white. Somebody could be a wife. All right, somebody's wicked over here. We got wicked energy. We got 97 or 79 could be significant, July or September. And that's Virgo energy, September here. All right, we got a female, an aunt. Let me drop in here, mother. Oh, McDonald had a farm. Yeah, this is a bunch of farm animals over here. All right, E-I-E-I-O. They could be saying that to themselves. I go back to earlier. I just keep thinking of Forrest Gump. This person acts like Forrest Gump, like they just dumb. Like they just have no common sense at all. Okay. Capricorn. Taurus. Okay, let's see what we got. 46, 64, 47, 74, 94, and 49. 96, 94, 69, 67. All right, we got April, June, uh, July, and September could be significant. All right, we have a brother, a friend, a female, an aunt, a mother, a son. A grandma. We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquar uh, Aquarius. I'll clarify that. We got a coworker, Libra. I'll clarify that one. Taurus. I'll clarify that one for you. Sag and Capricorn. There. I'll clarify those. And we got Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Get you a few messages out of here. Ellen, Emma, Edwin. Howard or Howie, Hawkeye, Chewy. All right, is there some Star Wars stuff over here with Chewy? Somebody could have had a bounce check. Or a check is about to bounce, not due to lack of funds. Somebody's weak. My chick bad, my chick good. Okay, whatever that means for somebody out there. Somebody's being called a chick and they, they think they're badass and they think they're good. Maybe they are. I don't know. That's their mentality. Somebody could be eating ice. Could they have, somebody could be anemic. Or have an iron deficiency here. Somebody could be having heart issues. Also kidney. Maybe a UTI. Somebody's got a UTI. Or a kidney infection. Somebody's looking for clues or somebody needs to get a clue, or find a clue. Hickory Dickory Dock. I don't know if that has something to do with time. Mouse run up the clock, clock struck 1, 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. So grand, somebody could have a grandfather clock, but 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. could be significant. Something with 1 o'clock.
witchy woman. Yeah, somebody's a witchy woman or a witchy man over here. This one's very witchy. Someone can say heck a lot. Instead of saying hell, they say heck. What the heck? CIA could be watching. Somebody's being watched or monitored. Somebody could have, like, wear an ankle monitor. I have, like, on house arrest or something over here. If not, they're about to be. Wanda, Wendy. Carl, Clayton, Keith, Herman, Hermes, Hermes. Somebody be having trouble with their washer? Maybe your washer is broken down or... I don't know, it's making like this weird sound. Like it's about ready to walk off. Somebody wants you to collaborate and listen. That, like, ice, ice, baby. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. So somebody's trying to invent something, a new idea over here. Working up, they're stirring up something else. H, K, W, C, E, Q, and I. Somebody got a low IQ, too. It is what it is. Not everybody could be Bill Gates. You think everybody out there wants to be Bill Gates? Maybe, but not everybody can be Bill Gates. Not everybody can be the president. There's only one president every four years. So and if they get chose for another term, then they get another four years. So like this person wants to be somebody else that they can't be. All right, what is this Aquarius? This one come out. Oh, it's the engineer here. Just stirring something up. Reliance on mechanical solutions without regards for emotional consequences. They don't care. They're not emotionally uh, vulnerable or available here. They don't care who they hurt at any cost. They'll engineer something up. They'll get this new idea. They want to collaborate and listen. They're back with a new invention over here. So they're inventing something. Libra. Tell me about this Libra. That was for Aquarius. Now, if you're not dealing with Aquarius, like I said, this pioneer could be the Libra. The pioneer could be the Taurus. Pioneer could be the Sagittarius or the Capricorn or this Virgo. Libra, we got Don Juan over here using the power of romantic attraction for their private agendas. And this is uh, the romancer over here. Someone that wants to sweep you off your feet. Dancing the night away over here. Someone that, you know, writes beautiful poems or writes you a song. These beautiful lyrics. They want to dip you down. Lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes. They don't want to move, but it ain't down, but it down, but it float. Yeah, they want to you make it so good, I don't want to leave. They want you, they want to make it so good that you'll never leave them. All right, let's see about the Taurus. <laughs> and we got the queen coming out again. Becoming arrogant when authority is challenged. So you challenge this person's authority. Then they got to go against you. Because they're the father, or they're the grandfather, or they're the mother, or the grandmother. They're the, uh, the queen or the king of the castle. And once you go against the king or the queen of the castle, you know, I'm changing my voice here, guys. Once you go against the king or the queen of the castle, that's offensive. How dare you? So now they gotta retaliate. Okay. Sag. 
was, that was funny, guys. I gotta get funny. You just gotta laugh. People are crazy. All right. <laughs> crazy is as crazy does, though. All right, teacher. Manipulating or abusing the students. Ne uh, teaching negative traits. So hot, the teacher. This teacher could be a Sagittarius, okay? Uh, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. So they're that listening to the teacher, but their teacher is teaching them how to destruct their lives. This is that master manipulator over there. Okay, don't have to be. Just because it came out as the teacher doesn't mean they're the manaf the that's all Sagittarians are a master manipulator, okay? Or um, they're abusing students. This could be somebody that sleeps with their students. Gotta say it. This is like somebody that would break the world down. They like things broken. They don't want the world. They don't want peace. They want for themselves. They want to make sure people are listening to what they have to say by manipulating in a destructive manner and using whatever, engineering up whatever skills that they have, being this queen or this king, even if they have to, you know, come in and sweep you off your feet to do it, they'll do it. This could be that escort. This could be that, um, Tripper. Uh, so the teacher could be the escort or a stripper. That's just oh. I hope she's not doing that, or he or she's not doing this to their students. All right, Capricorn, we got the. I mean, it's not a, a teacher like, and they're, they're doing this to like kids, or high school kids, or you know, I don't know. Capricorn, storyteller, making up tales to harm others. So this is the one that's how. I'll tell you about this story, and we'll tell you about this one here. She's She's got a whole book written of stories of fake, made-up uh, fables, as they call them, the Aesop fables. Did you ever read that when you were a kid? Okay, that's this person over here. Prostitute places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. And this, she did it all for the nookie, so you could take that cookie and stick it up your arse. Yeah. It's all for money, money and power. And if they got to sell their body by teaching other individuals, manipulating other individuals, personifying themselves as this great storyteller, they and they are a king or a queen, romancing the stone of individuals, okay? Engineering up new plans and new ideas, being a con artist over here copying other people's work, using talents as an excuse to mistreat others. So this is the, you know, make an excuse for everything. They got to make up another excuse. They got to make up another excuse to cover up this lie. They got to make up another excuse to cover up that lie. They got to make up another excuse. Well, that didn't do that. Then so-and-so did that. This is that storyteller over here. Yeah, posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. This is somebody that wants a pity party. Want you to feel bad for them, for the stories that they made up. Even though they were out prostituting, teaching and manipulating whatever students or your person or whoever your person's dealing with. I don't know. <sighs> Pretending like they're this queen, but you challenge this person. In some way, shape, or form, you've challenged their authority, their position, if it is in their home, if it is with their person or not, okay? Your person. I don't know. You challenge this person. So they have to take control of the situation in order for it to work out in their favor. It's all to get what they want. So reverse these signs in any of these uh, roles here because you know what your story is. I don't know what your story is. I just give the messages. Our Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Virgo are the main ones. All right, guys. It is what it is. And that's all you got to say about that. How about that drink me 15 Dr. Peppers? I had to go pee. Somebody may be drinking a lot of Dr. Pepper over here. <laughs>
Vermont, Colorado, Oklahoma, Connecticut, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Wyoming, South Dakota, Indiana, Oregon, North Dakota, Washington, Minnesota. Now, like I said, these could be places that you live, this person lives, places that they met this escort, this prostitute, um, or, or whatever, um, places this person's running from the law from. Somebody needs to hire them a lawyer, a very good one, because they're going to need it. Whether this is you, or this is your person, or your person, whoever they're dealing with, they're going to have to hire a good lawyer. New York, Nebraska, Texas, Illinois, Utah, and Alabama. Okay. Vermont, Pennsylvania, North Dakota, Alabama, Utah, Minnesota, Wyoming, Colorado, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Washington, Rhode Island, Indiana, Connecticut, Nevada, Oregon, New York, Illinois, Texas, and Nebraska. So take as they resonate for you guys and leave the rest. This person's in a whole heap load of trouble. Yeah. I smell T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Somebody's name could be Travis. Okay. Way too many guys. Get you some affirmations here. You can't have a positive as fuck life without a with a negative as fuck mind. And that's the truth. You can't have a positive life with a negative mind. If you find yourself with a head of, uh, full of crap, go watch some videos of babies laughing or goats eh, exciting excitement feigning or old people cursing. It's helpful to think of laughing as a mental pooper scooper. You got to get the turds out so you have room for fresh and lovely thoughts. So get the shit out of your brain. Somebody's got shit for brains over here. All right, think twice before you give a fuck. Ask yourself this. What if that thing that's bothering you, worrying you, haunting you, didn't matter? If it didn't matter, would you be happier, kinder, more productive? If it didn't matter, would you sleep better? Would you let yourself enjoy an ice cream cone or whatever else your heart desires? If so, then don't give that fuck. If not, giving a fuck means going against one of your care core values, then go ahead, give that fuck. You're not supposed to never give a fuck. The point is to give them where it matters, it, to balance out your fucks. If fucks were money, would you drop that much money here? Take care of uh, and spend your fucks wisely. So it's saying, I mean, it's not give a fuck, but also be aware of where you're giving your fucks out. If it's worth giving a fuck for, okay? And it just is what it is. Life would be a lot more fun if everyone's middle name was motherfucking. Make today fun by silently inserting motherfucking into the name of everyone you come in contact with. Ben motherfucking Franklin. Grandpa motherfucking Bob. That lady from accounting. She's now Carol motherfucking Cooper from accounting. Yo, somehow this makes those financial spreadsheets more bearable, right? It's going to be a great motherfucking day. And it sure is. It's a beautiful Sunday outside. Well, depending on what part of the world you live in, if you can get out to enjoy it, yeah. All right, so we have, you can't save your face and your ass at the same time. There is a secret you're keeping, is there a secret you're keeping? The ego keeps you from being honest about who you really are. Go ahead and admit where you fucked up. Seriously, we're all fuck ups in some way. Welcome to being human. You do you, baby. Welcome to being human. Everybody fucks up. We're human. That's what we're here to do. Learn. Grow. Make mistakes. No one's perfect and no one ever will be perfect. But unless you own up to that shit, you can't save your face and your ass at the same time. And it is what it is. The integrity is the new black. Integrity means having your actions match your values. Most of the time, integrity takes a lot of not doing stuff, not smacking people, not yelling at people, not talking shit, not stealing stuff, not lying, 
not littering and not eating your roommate's last gluten-free, uh, soy-free vegan pizza roll. When the temptation is strong to do the bad thing, sometimes it helps to write it down, the good thing, and put it in your back pocket. It's hard to justify smacking someone when you have your ass pressed up against the word compassion. So be compassionate, show integrity, and respect. It's okay, guacamole. I'm extra as fuck, too. <laughs> Being extra means you give a shit. Maybe you give a shit about your on-fleek eyebrows, or you give a shit about the environment, or you give a shit about making your ass clap. Be extra today. Yep, it's a thing. And stop trying to skip the fucking struggle. Keeping it positive won't insulate you from having emotions and needing to evolve. You're not going to spiritual your way out of hitting the next layer of wounds to heal. So many of us make the mistake of thinking we'll arrive and that'll be that with the life's lessons and shit. Personal growth is more like peeling an onion than like climbing a mountain. It gets stinkier and stinkier and you'll cry more, but everything gets juicier the deeper you go. The true spiritual badasses don't pretend like their opinions don't stink. And our sh you know, opinions are like a-holes. Everyone's got one. Everybody's poop out their stinks and smells the same way. And no, it don't smell like roses. It just is what it is. So don't think that moral is don't think that you're better than somebody else because nobody's better than anyone else. It's about personal growth. And you wanting to do better for yourself. Understood. And it is what it is. And people are going to be how they're going to be. And you can't change that. You can't fix other people. We just give messages here, guys. And if they take the tools to help themselves out, then that's great. Something that they want to do for themselves. They want to make a change for themselves. But to control somebody else, you can't control somebody else's growth. You can try, but doing all this dirty stuff here, all these illegal activities over here, get you caught up. Eventually, you have to take responsibility for the consequences of your actions. And that's for everyone on this planet, no matter what we do, whether it is good or bad or if it's evil, or whatever you want to say, okay? Whatever you do, whatever you put out there is what you get back. So if that's what you want for somebody, if you want them to, uh, uh, you want to have a hitman on, on this person, you want them to have a downfall, then that's what's going to happen to you. Everything that you've put out that you wanted for this person, or this person wanted for you, will come back on them. That's karma. Whether it comes back in the same way, who knows? It's up to the universe. It's up to God. It's in his hands. That has nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with the collective. It's just how it is. So you want somebody to struggle? Then you will struggle. Who knows when it'll happen? It may be all good sunshine and rainbows now, but when the wheel starts turning around, because it always does, what goes around comes around. And that's where you go back to being kind and being humble because you never know who you come across in this life. And you always want to keep good karma flowing back to you. Keep that cycle going, that infinity of good karma. And once you mess up, because we all mess up, we got to take responsibility for ourselves and for the action that we took, what we portrayed into the circumstance. That's just how life works. It's not the world going against you. You're going against what the plan is. And it is what it is. All right, guys, those are the messages I have for you. Hopefully they resonated. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I do appreciate all your love and support for my channel. I thank you guys, all my beautiful supporters out there that are faithful, that actually like to hear the truth, okay? Um, thank you guys so much. And all the new subscribers, welcome to the channel, okay? So um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Always remember that if nobody's told you today, you are loved and you are lovable. And don't forget it. And never give up on yourself.
always believe that you can do better for you, not be better than somebody else, okay? Take care.